Hello y'all, this is Brush Fire Wind Dragon and welcome back to Vanilla WoW. Um I get I guess I forgot I left her here in the human land, so uh Right. That's not the map. Um Fargo Deep Mine is over here, I think. Let's see. Fargo Deep Mine, that's such a silly name. Oh wait. It's the one over near the farm, isn't it? Oh. Hey there. Hey there, friend. My name's Remy. I'm from Red Ridge to the east and came here looking for business. Looking for business. You got any? Got any? Madeline, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentle folk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, Madeline, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. Have a good one. What can I do for you? The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find cobalt in Fargo Deep Mine to the south, and around the Jasper Load Mine to the northeast. Ah, uh, okay, because that's safe travels. <laughs> and the Jasper Load, that's what did it. Light be with you. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports. Murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a Murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to Eastern Elwood Bridge and speak with Lord Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know more about the area. Bring me this his report. Oh, I know how that one ends. I need to look back and figure out who's helped me in the past and send them bags. Unless I don't know you want to just smell me and ask me to make you a bag. I can do that. <laughs> hey there. Princess must die. The Brackwells have a prize winning pig, Princess. The sow is huge. She got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. So before she comes to our fields, Princess must die. Bring her me her collar as proof of the deed. I'll give you something for your time. Princess is usually over at the Brackwell Brackwell pumpkin patch to the east of me on the McClure farm. Get her before she gets hungry and comes back here. Ooh, okay. Have a good one. Eh, after Kata, she's over here already. <laughs> hmm. So where's the girl? This is a barn. There she is. Mm. Hey there. Young lovers. Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies. So I can't see him, even though the, my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. Okay. Have a good one. <laughs> okay, Miss Juliet. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I try to help. Oh, thank you. How are you? Oh, I missed it. I lost my necklace, and I think that gutter snipe Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards to the east. Get my necklace back for me, and you'll warm an old widow's heart. Okie doke. Safe travels. I find Tommy Joe. He's here somewhere. Ah, oh, here he is. Good day to you. You have what? Mabel is the light of my door life. Hurry, let me see her letter. Uh, I can't stand this being a part. I have to see her. Please, Madeline, talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Mabel, she can. She's inside our house east of here. See you later. Okay. 
Grandma Stonefield, we need your help. Young love depends on it. You need something? It. Well, our families are feuding. Tommy Joe and Maybell don't have much of a future. But maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm, what can we do? I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lawrence Pride Inn in Goldshire. Safe travels. And here's the inn. Hello, Mr. Pestle. How are you? Ah, uh, oh, good day, good day, Master Mage. Come sit down and have a drink. You have an enterprising look in your eye, and I think you'll find speaking to me worth your time. You have a note from Grandma Stonefield, eh? I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has to say. My heart goes out to those two poor souls, Mabel and Chalmie Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make... Have a good one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you need to do your quest too, though. I guess stewardess is also helping out Tommy Joe and Mabel. Oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello! I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybell so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes murlocs collect it. See if the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Crystal Lake is just east of Goldshire. Safe travels. You need something? Hello, my lady. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from cobalts, and I hear rumors that cobalts are infesting the Elwyn mines. The Fargo Deep mine to the south, and the Jasper Lode mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. See you around. I wonder if Stewardess recognizes me from my videos. Probably not. Oh. I gotta go east to get to Crystal Lake. <laughs> okay. One frond. Oh, two fronds. Three fronds. And that's four fronds. Back at the end. I'm back, Mr. Pestle. How are you? Do you have that crystal kelp? I'm sure Mabel is anxious to see her bow. You got it. Good show. Now just one moment while I concoct the potion. Have a good one. It shouldn't take long. The invisibility liquor is ready for you, Madeline. Hey there. This, take this invisibility liquor to young Mabel. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Oh. See you later. Okay. Go back to the McClure farm. Hmm. Before I go back there... Level up! <laughs> so, 15. Well, there's thieves around here. Oh, there's Princess and her boyfriends. <laughs> and down they go. Yes, the caller. Stewardess. Hey, Billy. You lost the what? Well, I didn't take no necklace because I ain't no thief. I might know who did, but I'm too hungry to remember. Maybe if I got a pa, I could tell you who has that necklace. And you know, I think that old Bernice lady at that other farm makes great pork belly pies. Maybe if you gave her some chunks of boar meat from the boars that hang out around our farms and told her it was for what it was for, she'd bake up a pie for you. You little booger. Now where's your sister? Ah, okay. 
Mabel. Good day to you. Did you deliver my letter to Tommy Cho? What did he say? Oh my, I feel guilty to saving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, Madeline. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance to sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. See you later. Here goes nothing. And there she goes. I love a happy ending. Well met. Did you see her yet? Did you get her? Thank goodness that pig was getting the be getting so bad she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, Madeline. Okay, I guess I'll take the mail for money. Be careful. You need something? I don't think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place, but if that's what it takes to get back what's mine, so be it. And I just so happen to have for me. Though this poor all-born meat is tough, simmer it enough, and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go, and when you give this pie to that Billy, I tell you, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. See you around. Wow, lady. <laughs> but yeah, that is quite a naughty little kid. Ugh, I'm starving. Do you have that pie for me, Madeline? Mmm, yum, this pie is the best. I think my memory's coming back to me. I was playing near the Fargo Deep Mine, and I think I dropped, or I mean, I saw the old lady's necklace. Don't ask me how it got there. It wasn't me. Well, anyway, I saw this big gold tooth cobalt pick up a ne the necklace and run into the mine. Go find that cobalt, and you'll find the necklace, I swear. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> And now you've probably been wondering why I haven't gone to Fargo Deep Mine yet. I like doing the quest all at once. And here I got the first large candle. Now that I've got all four of these quests, I can go in and get them done all at once. And not have to worry. But yeah, I mean in Kata, Gold Tooth is up on top of the ridge, but here in Vanilla, he's inside the cave. Somebody's been through here recently. Oh, I see him. Oh, tag. I can't go. Just gotta wait for the respawn. <laughs> There's a second candle. Oh, oh, he's respond. Don't you run away. There we go. Got gold dust and the necklace and a candle. <laughs> it, doesn't even, it just says a gold too. Oh, I hear somebody fighting. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's the candle. Number four. Oh, candle and dust. Candle. I do take candle. Yes, I do. Oh, gold dust. Oh, candle and dust. Oh, the last candle. Oh, dust number five. Gold dust number six. Turns out I have a Two telepoints. How did that happen? Yeah, I definitely don't want them to um, be too resistant. Okay. Three here, one here. Those two, two, okay. There we go. Ah, it's 
Oh, that's number seven, but I didn't mean to loot it yet. Okay. Gold dust number eight. Gold tooth dust drop gold dust, and I'm, I'm gonna leave him for another player. Ugh, gold dust number nine. You know, take candle. Take candle. Oh, wait, I already finished my quest. Final gold dust. Now I've got all four quests done, and I do not have to come back. Hello. Hello, Madeline. Have you found my necklace? Oh, you found it. Thank you, thank you, dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's, and he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Aww. See you later. Hello. Psst. Yeah, that gold dust for me, for me? Thanks for the dust, Madeline. Here's your cash. And here's a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. See you around. A bag of marbles. There you go. Greetings. This is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near the mine. Thanks for your efforts, Melon. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know the Fur Fargo Deep Mine is infested with cobalts. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any cobalt presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. Then the tower, head uh, north, and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Light bless you. Good Mr. day Pistol. to you. Did you gather those candles yet? You were busy hunting cobalts, were you? Thanks for the candles, Madeline. And here's your reward. Glowing wax stick. Decrease the armor of the target. Ah. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you. He'll pay you well. I've packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop. Pestles apothecary in the Stormwind Trade District. Explosive rocket. Oil of Olaf. Elixir of Wyan strength. I guess I'll take the oil of Olaf for armor. See you later. God, this is great. Okay. Okay, so let's see if it's. Is it one of those? Oh, okay. It's not the flight path one, okay. Oh, hello Morgan. This is this Goldshire. Business in Goldshire is brisk, so brisk that I haven't had time to send you any payments. I commissioned the person bearing this note to bring you a package of large wax candles. You know the ones the kobolds like to wear on their heads? Please give this person our thanks and fair payment. Oh, there's my candles. There we go. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh. Must be a gnome thing going on. Oh, there it is. Morgan. What can I do for you? Oh, I've shipment for my brother. Splendid. Fortune truly shines on me today. Here's your payment. And while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other thing we can find useful. Have oh, a good one. Thank you. Humperdo. <laughs> you need something? Hey, miss. You look like a mage with a discerning taste in wine. I have a favor to ask, and I think I can make you an offer you can't refuse. Forget about it. What? <laughs> If you talk to anyone about wine, then you know that we Galena sell the Gallina? Galena? Sell the best wine in Stormwind. And we're not far, still in the trade district along the city's lovely canals. Here, take this pamphlet. Bring it to my sister Suzetta at our shop for a complimentary bottle of our famous pin Pinot Noir. You won't regret it. Okay. See you around. That's where the that's where the mailbox is. What's he doing there? Where am I? Oh. Hmm.
Looking for something specific? Greetings and welcome, madam. Have you tried yet tried one of our fine wines? Ah, so you've seen an auto. Well, here you are, ma'am. A bottle of our special Pinot Noir. We'll not find its equal in all of Azeroth. Be careful. Here we go. And Ludacritz is here, too. What can I do for you? Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> Hello, citizen. You look like a woman with a purpose. Do you have business with the Stormwind I army? Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here, but they are aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river, and they have not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards, or their remains. Go with honor, friend. Okay. Well met. El Madlin, wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Golchar, and the Eastville logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out here. Okay. Be careful. Since I know what's going to happen next, I am going to stop here for today, but I hope you did enjoy the little bit we did have today, and thank you all for watching, and stay safe, and this is Brushar Windragon signing off.